Hey guys, and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So today we're in Adobe Audition CC, and I'm going to be walking you through how to work with multi-track sessions within Adobe Audition. So what are multi-track sessions? So let's first start out with how to create one. First, you're going to go up to File, and then go to New, like you would a regular audio file, and then click the multi-track session, which is the top option there. You then need to name the session, whatever you want to name it and then save it wherever you want to save it and then you also have some options here like you would when creating a normal audio file you can select from a template if you have one you can change the sample rate the bit depth and then the master whether you want it to be mono or stereo so we're going to change it over to stereo and then click OK so it's going to look a little different than a normal singular audio file. So if you create a singular audio file, it'll look something like this with the WAV file here. And then however your workspace is set up, it may look a little differently. But if we go back to the multi-track session, which is labeled whatever you named it dot S E S X, that'll, that's how you know it's a multi-track session. Now, the one thing that I love about creating a multi-track session within Audition. And this is how I create and edit my podcast when I upload them to, to iTunes and YouTube and places like that, is that when you drag a piece of audio into a channel or into a track on the multi-track session, it's going to color it whatever color you see here. And just a little quick tip for you, if you right click there on the lower left hand corner of a track, you are able to then edit the color of that WAV file. So this allows you to go in here and when you're dragging separate files and separate different audio clips into the different tracks here, you're able to tell them apart. So what I'm going to do now is show you a little bit of how to manipulate around the timeline, and then I'll show you how to edit and a few other things about the multi-track session. So if we go down here, we're going to see our timeline here. So if we press play just like that there, you're going to see it play back right here on the timestamp. You're going to see where you are within the session. Now, if I go over here to the zoom tools, which will be right here, there's going to be two different areas to where you zoom in and zoom out. Now this here on the left is going to allow you to zoom in on the individual channels and make them larger. Now if we zoom out a little more, go to the other zoom in feature and this is going to zoom in on the whole file itself. So if we click here, you can probably hear my mouse clicking. I apologize for that. So I'm not going to do it anymore. But if we click in a few more times, we're going to, to see here that we're actually zooming in on the whole file as a whole, as opposed to right here, we're just zooming in to an individual channels and making them larger. So as you see here, I have uh, another audio file here, which is like a little swoosh sound. You can see it there. I can click and drag that audio file around wherever I want it. I can even go up here to this audio track on track number one, click and hold on the edges and drag left or right to go ahead and cut in or cut out if I want to remove or add pieces or parts of that audio file. And then as with the other one there, I can click and hold with the move option or the move tool there and then drag that audio file wherever I want it. I can even change up and down to change the different tracks. Now, if I go here and select this track and then double click on track one, that's going to allow me to rename that track, whatever I want to rename it to. So you can rename that and then just click enter and then you're going to go ahead and have that there. So if you're editing like drums, guitar, vocals, things like like that, you could actually go through here and label individually which track is going to be for which instrument or vocals if you have different types of vocals on that song. Now, in my case with my podcast, I go here and I add effects like this little swoosh here. I can go, go and click and hold here and then drag the audio a little further this way. And then what you're going to hear, you're not going to hear it, but what you would hear is a swoosh like that, and then the audio would start. Uh, again, I'm getting all of my audio effects from Audioblocks. I'll put the link down below. It's a great, great tool to use. You can use copyright-free material for music, sound effects. It's a great, great tool. I'll put the link down below if you are interested. Now, we've talked about zooming in, zooming out. Uh, obviously, here you can press play, stop, pause. All of that's going to be in your transport option to the left. Let's talk about if you wanted to split a clip in between. So if we go here and we drag the playhead, if you don't know what the 
the playhead is. That's this guy here. It's going to be whatever I'm dragging, the line going vertically here from top to bottom. We can right click on the track that we have selected and then go to split right here. That's going to split that track right in the middle, right where that playhead is. Now, there might be many reasons you need to do this. If you need to cut out a different part of the audio or if you need to uh, you know, increase the volume of, of a specific portion of the audio, you, you could do all of that by splitting it here at the playhead. Now, if you notice, when I drag one piece of audio on top of another one, you're going to see two different yellow lines. This right here is going to make sure that when it merges from one piece of audio to another, that it does it seamlessly and it'll fade one out and it'll fade another one in. Now that's an automatic feature and we can you know, slide this here from left to right if we want to by grabbing it and we can increase or decrease the amount of time it takes to transfer over to the next audio file. So we're gonna move that back here. Uh, as with any piece of software within Adobe, you can go Command or Control Z to undo something or go to Edit, Undo Move Clips and that'll undo your most recent actions. You can repeat, you know, and, and things like that. So it works just like it would anywhere else. Now let's zoom in a little bit more on a specific track. We'll go ahead and zoom in about right here. If you look over here to the left where the track is, you're going to see the FX options and then you'll see a bunch of different numbers here. We can actually click this here, the little arrow like you normally would within Adobe Audition and we can add a multitude of effects. We can add all of the normal effects and if you have any effects that you've downloaded from a secondary you know, place, that whatever it may be, you can add those as well. So let's go ahead and add a little bit of, let's say echo to this here. So we'll add the default preset here and then click on the X there to get rid of that box there. And now you're going to see that the echo is going to be applied on this entire track. So whatever's on this track, so if you get way down the song or the podcast and you put something else on track one, remember it's also going to have this effect applied to it. It's as easy as clicking the on and off button right here to toggle the effect on or off. So we click the green button there to turn it off, click it when more time to turn it on and then if we right click that there on the arrow we are then going to be able to either edit the effect or remove it altogether so we'll go ahead and remove the effect altogether so remember when you apply an effect to a track it's going to be applied to the entire track so remember that also we can reduce or in, sorry, we can increase or decrease the sound of an individual track by clicking this little slider here so if we go here and slide to the left it's going to reduce the dbs or the audio sound volume of that specific track and then if we slide it to the right that will be us increasing the volume so remember that uh, that's something you can do here individually now there's a bunch of other nitty-gritty stuff that you can get into if you want to get into the depths of a multi-track but as of right now that's going to be your main base of getting started with multi-track sessions also one last thing if you go up to the top right corner click the magnifying glass in the top right corner that will zoom out and let you see your entire project so that's a quick tip quick tool that will allow you to do that and just like I said I can click and hold and drag this anywhere to any track I want to but remember whatever effects are on that track is going to be applied to that audio so remember that now if you have any questions about working with Adobe Audition I work with Adobe Audition every day uh, I would love to help you out so put those in the comment section below let me know do you use Adobe Audition or do you use Audacity which is what I'm recording the audio for this video so let me know what you use to record your audio and if you like to work in the multi-track editor within Adobe Audition as always guys don't forget to like and subscribe it really does help me out and until next time see you later